Right on. Thank you very much for the opportunity to be here again. We are Power Bully. Before we get into that, to the entire crew of EUFMC, thanks for putting it on in these tumultuous times. But I do want to say how much I really like these new badges. It's just like, it's like a backstage pass, we're ready for a concert. So just wanted to say kudos and I might not turn it back in. Uh, and for all those that are brand new, I promise you, we were new at one point, you're going to make relationships and friendships that will last you your entire career. I know, because we've done it already. I'm going to talk about three things in particular, tracks, tires, and telematics. But before I get into that, I'm going to do a quick overview of the carrier, as well as the outtake attachment that is on it. This is the Power Bully 18T. 18T stands for tons. That's a 36,000 pound payload capability. Now, I'm going to jump to the Altec Effort train. That is a, a 315C. It's got a little bit of about 41 foot of auxiliary hydraulic reach. And it's about 8,000 pounds. So even with that and the outriggers, you still have a tremendous amount of payload capacity to take your cargo and any other gear to your job site. Back to the Power Bully. Again, the Power Bully is powered by the Cummins 310 horsepower QSB engine. We utilize all of the top brand of componentry, so you'll find Box Rex Raw, everything that you've come to know and appreciate for holding up in your applications. These machines are readily available in stock in the United States. I invite please come over to our booth and talk about it. We're happy to answer any questions. But as mentioned, I'm going to talk about three things. The first thing I want to talk about are tracks. We do this for a reason. It's the most noticeable difference on this track carrier versus every other carrier that's out there. Figured this is a pretty good time to give everyone a, a quick update as to why we have this. We've had this track for well over 10 years. We developed it for the United States military. They have the same issues that y'all have. How do we get through mud? How do we get through swamp? How do we get through water? How do we get on asphalt without damaging it? How do we get through concrete? They came to us, we developed the X-Track. This is a individually replaceable galvanized steel bonded rubber track. If you happen to rip one off or need to replace one, it's really easy to replace and you do not have to replace the entire track. That's the main difference for our tracks versus the others. The other thing I'd like to talk about, because I'm going to run out of time, would be the tires. At the end of the day, we did it for operator comfort. We know what you guys have to go through. Whether you're going into the gully and out, whether you're going over rocks, logs, that operator, if he's in there, is going to bounce around. We're trying to minimize the fatigue for them. That's why we went with the larger tires, plain and simple. The last thing we want to talk about are telematics. I do realize it's probably hard to see inside the cabin, and I'm certainly not going to talk to you guys about telematics, you can educate me. But I'm going to say a couple of things. Every carrier is outfitted with an eye terminal, which is basically an iPad. We as Power Bully can communicate with each one of these rigs. We can slowly walk through the operator. If he's got a code issue, if he's got any problem, we might be able to fix it right then and there. If he doesn't have a, an issue that we can fix, at least it's something we can tell the mechanic exactly what to have and what to bring, saving you time and money. So I'm out of time. I appreciate everybody. Thank you for being here. Thanks again for having the show. We're powerful. Thanks, Scott. Nice job.